welcome to the fifth installment of the Nexus Starship. Last episode I modeled the first rough 3D model of my own ship for the Star Citizen universe. Today I'm going to throw it into the VR scene with some other SC ships to get all the skatings right. So, in between episodes I finally got quite a lot of feedback, mostly on Reddit and mostly positive, but a lot of people pointed out my ship looks like a lobster. Fair enough, but since a lot of spaceships are designed after fish, because they do also kind of load in space, I can live with the lobster. I might dial the similarities down a bit, even though doubling down on the lobster features might be fun too, but today I'm going to just make sure the overall size is good and add some missing detail. If you've never been in VR, you probably wonder why I'm bothering with this low resolution. But right now I can see everything, the scale, the distances, as if it was real, as if I were there. So this will be super helpful for me to get the scale of my ship right. Um, I picked three ships as a reference. I picked the Aurora, which is 18 meters long. I picked the Gladius, which is 20, and the Sabre, which is 24. The Aurora I picked for only one reason, the cockpit is too spacious and the area in between I don't need. But the bed, the bed I think gives this starter ship a really a feeling of having your own home in the universe. And I love that and I want to have this in my ship because as it's meant for very very long distance reconnaissance you will have to sleep probably in between missions while traveling. And so I want to have like this kind of bed size right behind the cockpit. The Sabre is a medium fighter, so it's a bit too big. I just picked it for the cockpit size, because the Gladius is more comparable in size to mine, but the cockpit is very small, very claustrophobic, so I picked the Sabre as a cockpit reference. I think this is a generous cockpit size for a small fighter. It should feel less restricted than a Gladius on long travels, and also you have quite a good visibility in pretty much all directions which is important for a reconnaissance ship. Well, and then the Gladius, just because it's a small fighter. This is about the size I'm aiming for, maybe a little smaller, because this thing is quite massive already. As I said, it's hard to tell on the 2D screen, but... Man, this thing, you could just park a small car under the wing here. This is again 20 meters while an F-16 in real life is about 15 meters. It is quite big. So in case you ever wondered, yes, CIG does model out every single screw inside a thruster. But now let's have a look at mine. Right now it's only 14 meters. Um, I think I will have to scale it up quite a bit, even though I don't want it to be too big. Maybe even a bit smaller than the Aurora because I don't have to carry any cargo at all. But apart from the too small size, everything that I said in the last episode is still true. I still like some of the shapes while some are not ready yet. But most importantly, I think the cockpit is just way too small right now. So that's what I'm going to fix first. The first thing I did is add the Sabre cockpit to my scene and take that as a scale reference. Then I rebuild a very low res reconstruction of that so that I can delete the Sabre as soon as possible. Otherwise, I get too tempted to copy features of the original. I also added the Aurora interior behind, again, just to see if it fits as a placeholder. And then I continued the blocking process on the bottom side. Again, this is still just blocking. Every feature I build will be replaced later, but that's important, because even here I scrapped and rebuilt parts three times, and if you do that on your final model, it will end up with a very untidy mesh. I made sure that the engines now get properly connected to the front, so even though this is pure fiction, the airflow makes at least some sense. 
I then added the quantum intakes I thought about uh, two episodes ago. I'll put a link to episode 3 if you want to know what that is all about. And I made four slight variations, because the tip of the wings will be important to the overall silhouette of the ship, but I don't have to pick one just yet. Those parts in the very front bottom I don't like, but they are good for now to fill the space, to get a feeling for how thick the wings will become. I did the same treatment to the middle and other engines quickly, as the front will have to change again depending on the final cockpit look. So in the end I ended up with a little over 16 meters, which feels like a good size. It looks a bit nimble from the distance, but if you get closer and see how far it goes over my head, it feels right. The bottom, even though it's only blocked, feels less hollow and less fake. The wings now have a good volume to them. Depending on what I'm going to do with the landing gear, I might even be able to fit some components or player inventory in here, so you don't have to climb on the ship for all the maintenance. The wings are actually pretty massive now, and with that they like detail more than ever, but the size feels appropriate now. And from the inside, the size feels okay. The visibility is good, even though I wish the struts were a bit further apart in the front. The wings don't bother me nearly as much as I thought. I could even put the cockpit a bit lower if I had to. I removed the back seat for now, but it's supposed to fold and become the lower part of the bed where you put your feet. Okay, I might even make the ceiling a bit lower and the sides a bit narrower to get just a bit of storage here. Because obviously space comes at a premium here and this is still pretty comfortable size-wise. Actually it's quite cozy already. And there we have it. This episode took me way too long to prepare, setting up the VR scene took time, but it helped a lot and I will use it frequently in the future to check everything. Apart from getting the scale right, I called the front the weakest angle to look at, but now I begin to like it. The side also feels a bit less hollow and fragile. Now the weakest parts are the cockpit, which I have not really decided how I want it to look like. The middle is stay way too basic and the top wings now need some of the detailing and connection with the rest of the ship that the bottom just got. From the top you can basically still make out the individual parts from a sketch. And that is it. As always, feedback is very welcome. I might still be able to implement new ideas into the ship. Now thank you for watching and see you in the verse.